In this video, I will teach you about the relationship between the function of sine, cosine, and tangent for angles in quadrants 2, 3, and 4 with the corresponding reference angle. A Cartesian plane is divided into four parts called quadrant by the S axis and Y axis. The quadrants are named as quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4 in the anti-clockwise direction. The angle theta is measured by rotation the line OP in the anticlockwise direction from the positive S axis at the origin. What is corresponding reference angle? Let us look at quadrant 1. The angle in quadrant 1 itself is corresponding reference angle. That's why alpha equals theta. Angle in quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and 4 have corresponding reference angle alpha. Can you see here, this part is corresponding reference angle alpha. For quadrant 3 here, this is corresponding reference angle. For quadrant 4, the corresponding reference angle at here. Okay, so conclusion, the corresponding reference angles always on the S and also the corresponding reference angle alpha is always less than 90 degree. Now we are going to determine the corresponding reference angle for each of the following. The first one. What is the corresponding reference angle? Yeah, alpha equals 50 degree. The second one, where is the corresponding reference angle? Here, right, as I mentioned before, the corresponding reference angles always lies on S axis. So, here, alpha equals 180 degree minus 140 degree equals 40 degree. The third one, the angle in the quadrant. So, where is the corresponding reference angle? Yeah, it's here. So how to find this angle? 230 degrees minus here to here is 180 degrees. So minus 180 degrees equals 50 degrees. The last one, where is the corresponding reference angle? Yeah, always at the S axis. So here. So, how to find this angle? The whole turn is 360 degrees. So 360 minus 310 equals 50 degree. To know further, let us look at example 1 
determine the quadrant and the corresponding reference angle for each of the following 138 degree so first you must know 138 degree is in which quadrant as you know the angle start from S axis and turn anti-clockwise so here start with 0 and here 90 degree this part is 180 degree 270 degree and come back here 360 degree so 138 degree actually fall in second quadrant this is first quadrant this is second third and fourth so 138 degree is located in quadrant 2 corresponding reference angle of bar is equals 180 minus 138 equals 42 degrees 239 degree is more than 180 and less than 270 so the angles is in the and as we know the corresponding angles is here so corresponding angles equals 239 degree minus this part 180 degree equals 59 degrees C 312 degree and this angle is more than 270 so for this angle is in four quadrant and corresponding reference angles is 360 minus 312 equals 48 degrees in first quadrant all the value of sine cos and tangent are positive in second quadrant only sine theta is positive in third quadrant only tangent theta is positive in, in fourth quadrant only cos theta is positive now, to prove it is true let let us look at first diagram 50 degree if I key in sine 50 I will get the value 0 0.766 if I key in cos 50 to calculate I will obtain 0 0.6428 tangent 50 degree equals 1.1918 so the value here are positive. Mm -hmm. Okay, 140 degree is in second quadrant. You can key in the value sine 140 degree and you will obtain 0 0.6428. Cos 140 degree equals negative 0 0.766. Tangent 140 degree equals negative 0 0.8391. And prove that in second quadrant only sine theta is in positive value.
Huh? 230 is in the quadrant. So when you key in the value of sine 230 degree to the calculator, you will obtain negative 0 0.766. Cos 230 equals negative 0 0.64 to add. Whereas tangent 230 degree, you will obtain the positive value which is 1.1918. So if you look at the third quadrant here, the tangent theta is in positive value. In fourth quadrant, sine 310 degree equals negative 0 0.766. Cos 310 degree equals 0 0.64 to add. Tangent 310 degree equals negative 1.1918. In fourth quadrant, only cos, the value of cos is in positive. Okay. Conclusion, first quadrant, all positive. Second quadrant, sine theta positive. Third quadrant, tangent theta positive and fourth quadrant cos theta positive so how to memorize it okay here we put add sugar to coffee so add is all Sugar here as is sine positive to T tangent positive and the last one coffee C C is for cos cos positive example two that the relationship between each of the following trigonometric functions with its corresponding reference angle A. Sine 167 degree Okay, first you must know 167 degree is located in second quadrant So this is S axis, this is Y axis If I draw the angle mass Draw from the first quadrant anti-clockwise direction. Here is 167 degree. Still remember add sugar to coffee. So first quadrant all positive, second quadrant sine theta is in positive value the quadrant tangent theta is in positive value and fourth quadrant cos theta is in positive value so now we need to find the corresponding reference angle here So sine 167 degree equals sine 180 degree minus 167 degree. Sine 167 degree equals sine 13 degree. B cos 258 degree so 258 degree is located in the quadrant so draw anti-clockwise direction so the angle is 258 degree and still remember where is the corresponding reference angle corresponding reference angle must always 
at the S axis here. So how to get this angle? Very simple, right? 158 258 degree minus 180 degree. So now we write here cos 258 degree minus 180 degree. But you must check in third quadrant cos is in positive value or negative value. So we check here. This is the quadrant. And in the quadrant only tangent theta is in positive value. So you must put negative at the front. Okay. So cos 258 degree also equals negative cos 78 degree. Now we look at C tangent 349 degree. This is in fourth quadrant. So if I draw the angle mass from S axis here, draw until just estimate only. So let's say this line is until this line is 349 degree. So now we must know where is the corresponding reference angle. Always remember the angle mass at the S axis. So here. Okay, so tangent 360 degree minus 349 degree. And also you need to check. You need to put negative or no need. So in fourth quadrant, only cos theta is in positive value. So you must put negative at the front. Okay, so tangent 349 degree equals negative tangent 11 degree. That's all for today. Hope you understand what I taught just now. And if you like my video, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.